Cochise County, right on the border fence. Someone slips through the fence and into the U.S. Cochise County wants to send this. Do not attempt to run or hide. The Cochise County Sheriff's Office has been working with a company called Dragonfly to build their dream drone. That's why the Outrider is such a huge project. Captain Tim Williams says the office already uses drones. They're small, cheap, and only last about 20 minutes. And the possibility of having that thing deployed across the border is, is definitely what we're looking at. These drones, Dragonfly says, can operate for hours. There's a gas generator on them that charges the batteries as it flies. If you wanted to push it and you wanted to make the payload actually fuel as well, yeah, you could run this thing for, you know, day and a half maybe. Why do they need drones that are going to be over people's homes for 17 hours a day? David Moss with the Electronic Frontier Foundation is thinking about that. So essentially, the privacy and civil liberties and human rights of people who live at the border is the cost. It's not zero, it's still happening every day. And that's why Cochise County says it wants these new drones, but it will cost a lot of money. Cochise County says they'll roll out first as a pilot program. Then if they work as advertised, the county can talk about buying them.